The Volkswagen Group has once again changed its EV strategy. Not by a huge amount, but by enough to say, Volkswagen, why do you keep changing your strategy? Did your previous one stink that badly that you had to change it once, twice, three times? When should we actually take your strategy seriously if it just keeps on changing? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. And thank you for your support this year. It's been amazing. It's really restored, not restored, yeah, nah, to some degree, restored my faith in humanity. And the reason I say that is because often the comments on YouTube, on this channel and on, well, so many other channels are so exceptionally negative and critical and demeaning. And if you read them all, you'd probably want to go and kill yourself. And so I had to stop reading them a while ago because, yeah, there's some great people out there who say kind things. And there's some others here around who are willing to say anything, just rip into you. Unfortunately, a lot of them are Aussies. Uh, for some reason, tall poppy syndrome and just a, sort of a culture in Australia where people can be quite negative. It's probably created a bit by the media for some reason. I mean, it means it kind of starts to change your outlook a little bit on humanity. But boy, was I wrong. 4,000 of you have contributed to our GoFundMe campaign. And that is not what I expected at all. Thank you so much. If you're new to the channel and you've got no idea what I'm talking about, I'll put a link in the description below to our campaign. You can see what that's about. Right. Volkswagen previously targeted sales of 70% electric in 2030. Now they've changed. They've raised their electric car sales goal for Europe for, I don't know, the fifth time in a row. And the brand's new target is at least 80% of its sales in Europe should be fully electric in 2030. Under Volkswagen's Accelerate Electrification Strategy, unveiled in 2021, the 2030 target was 70%. Before that, it was about 40%. Ulbrich, who is the CEO of Volkswagen Brands, said the Volkswagen brand has the most ambitious target of all Volkswagen Group brands, which include Audi, Skoda, and Seat Cupra. The brand has always been at the forefront of these issues in the group and we feel obliged to set our targets very high, Ulbricht told Automotive News, Europe's sister publication, Automobile Wash. Now, is it high, really? I mean, if no one wants gas cars in 2030, is 80% high? Now, yes, it's much higher than companies like Toyota and some brands, but however, some brands, including even Lexus, say there'll be only EV everywhere by 2030. So really is 80% high? I don't think it is, but what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Volkswagen brand is launching new and refreshed models under its ID badge for all electric cars. The ID3, the first ID model that launched in 2019 has just been given a facelift, a couple of small changes, has a cleaner design, software upgrades. Volkswagen says the software now works. So yeah, you can get in one and You'll be fine to drive it, it will go. So that's a good improvement. That's definitely a good thing. The ID7, a Passat sized electric sedan, is expected to be unveiled on March the 15th after Volkswagen showed a near production camouflage prototype in Las Vegas in January. Volkswagen will launch an all electric version of the Tiguan SUV in 2025. Considering that's now their best selling car worldwide, that can't come fast enough. Entry level battery electric cars priced under 25,000 euros a hatchback and a crossover likely called the ID1 and the ID2 will come within the next few years. But Volkswagen have a hell of a long way to go before they get to their 80% target. Last year, full electric cars accounted for just 10% of total Volkswagen passenger car sales. Now 10% is a pretty good number compared to some of its competitors, but considering their goal of 80% in 2030, well, yeah, that's a long way. The reason it's even longer than it sounds is because Volkswagen, like most automakers in the world, doesn't make a profit selling electric cars. Ulrich acknowledged that the new target was extremely ambitious. He said, this path shows our commitment to the electrification strategy. Volkswagen is not raising its full EV targets for the markets in China and the US, where its targets for battery electric vehicles remain at 50%. This is a big problem because Unfortunately, most people don't realize this, Volkswagen relies on China more than Europe. It does. 40% of all cars Volkswagen sell in the world are sold in China. 50% of Volkswagen's profits as of 2021 came from China every year for the last five or so years, 50% of their profit. Now Volkswagen Group can't possibly believe 
in a market like China where electrification is rapidly advancing to the point where now people really don't want, they don't want gasoline powered cars. Do they really think that in seven years from now, 50% of Chinese buyers would like to buy a gasoline powered car for the same price as an EV? We've already hit price parity in China. Is that likely to happen? Maybe it could happen in the US. Maybe 50% of buyers would be comfortable with buying a gasoline powered car in 2030. I doubt it, but it's possible. But in China, there is no chance of that happening. I think Volkswagen's goal of 80% in 2030 is probably not actually the truth. I think it's Volkswagen just saying, hey, don't worry, labor union. We're not going to fire all our employees working on gasoline powered cars. We'll save them because we'll keep some of our cars as gas, petrol, diesel, whatever you want to call them. I believe Volkswagen do secretly know that no one in Europe will be buying a gasoline or a diesel powered car in 2030. And if they are, it'll be like Norway, where it's about 3% of the market. I believe Volkswagen know that 80% isn't enough. But I could be delusional. I could be wrong. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.